balloon represents, now let's talk financially. This balloon represents our spend, what we spend, the amount of money that we spend. This, I'll come to that. So our, the amount that we spend is limited by the amount that we earn. So let's say this is the amount that I am earning. Um, I can't blow it up any more than that. I have reached the capacity of my spending. Now with this amount of spend, I can quite happily live. I can quite happily, uh, I can pay my rent, I can pay my heating, I can pay for food. Let's say I get a promotion. I mean, I'm self-employed, so that doesn't really happen. But let's just say, for argument's sake, uh, I get a nice new contract. Oh, oh wait, hold on. Oh, this is already fit. Oh, there's a bit more space in this one. I have now increased my spend. We have a tendency to spend what we have. You know, if we have the capacity for this, we will spend it. I can't now go back to this because it doesn't fit. The, the issue now comes with giving. If someone now comes along and says, ah, my, my house has broken into and I've lost everything, and you go, I really want to help you, you go, ah, I can't spend, I can't spare any money. No matter how much I want to help my friend, I can't do it. So we need to, and we'll talk about this a bit later, but when we're talking about finances, that's the thing. Actually, we need to factor giving into how we look at our finances. The same thing can be said for time as well. We need to think about how we give away our time as well. 